Hello my lovely little spots, I'm Happy Potato and today we will talk about how to recover a grave in The Sims 2. I will only talk about exactly what you have to do or download to be able to get your graves back, but if you want to have more in-depth info, go watch video with the same title, but instead of short word, there will be word long. So, okay, let's go. First of all, download No Unlink on Ornstone Delete, made by Pescado. It's the mod that prevents your game from destroying sim files. I mean, dead sim files. Because if you want to recover a grave of someone that had already missing files, it would be impossible to do, basically. And this mod won't change it, it would prevent from losing any more of that scene files and corrupting your game. First option to recover your grave is using the urnstone spawner made by Mike underscore 1102. Go to buy mode, miscellaneous, then miscellaneous again and look for an item that looks like a grave and costs one simoleon. After buying it, go to play mode. Then, by clicking on item, select an option Select Sim. Have in mind that the name could be duplicated, so make sure to find the correct one. And this is possible to know which one is correct. For example, if you play in Pleasant View, first sims displayed would be the one that, for example, are lying in Goth Graveyard. If you added a subhood, then sims from there would be the next one and then the one that died after. For this option I will be recovering grave of Duncan. After selecting him, I can choose how the grave and ghost will look like. I don't care about select Ernstone aspiration because he was a kid so it does not matter but you can choose there which aspiration you seem had. Then select a death type and for me it was a disease. With select Ernstone type I could make his grave gold but basic given is normal and that's how he died so the grave would be normal. And the last thing to do is just to spawn his Ernstone and it will appear on my lot. And that's basically it. Next mode is Assignable Gravestone by CatChair2005. Go to Buy Mode, Miscellaneous Everything and look for an urn that cost you 150 simoleons. Place it and then to Live Mode again. After clicking on it, select Assign option and look for your sim. It would be easier this time because there's also surnames displayed. For this I chose Contessa Hailey Hatchens that was my vampire that died because of a fire. After assigning her to the grave, I can change appearance of a gravestone. I can choose between any possible aspiration and normal. And that means that normal stands for a plain grave and any other stands for a golden grave. Show you how it worked, I picked golden family grave. But unfortunately I can select the death type and for me it shows that she died because of a hunger which is completely incorrect. The last option requires us to use three modes, but was made by pixel underscore trail. The tutorial was called Restoring Lost Tombstone and she uploaded in on her blog with pictures. No video. I'm making the video version of it right now. So first of all, you need a bad box slot debugger version 2.0 by Pescado and Dr. Boris. Second mode is Simological Teleporter. And the third one is Merola's Mind Control Mirror. First of all, you're gonna use ball prop testing cheats enable true while you're still in the neighborhood view. And then we can go to the family that you will be restoring a grave with. Then it's the shopping time. First of all, go to decorations and sculptures and find a cat. It will cost $1 and it's the Simological Teleporter. Then go to mirrors and look for mind control mirror that will cost 7,049 simoleons. And then in miscellaneous everything, go find a bad box for one simoleon. And then the fun begins. For this option, I will be bringing up Kendall Lawson, that is one of the nannies that accidentally died of a hunger in my game. But before we do so, pause your game and don't unpause it before I tell you so, okay? Okay. Click on a cat and then summon Dateful and look for your sim. For me it's Kendall Lasso. She will appear on our lot and then click on a mirror, select other and Kendall. Wait, I press Kendall, you press whatever the F spawned for you. She will now be a part of our family, but not for long. While holding a shift key, click on a bad box, Select option items and then respawn tombstone. Now you cannot pause and the grave will appear on your lot. And that's it. I hope these three options or at least one of them was useful to you and you bring back your missing graves. And yeah, thank you for comments and likes and everything about social media will be down there in the description. And till the next time, 
Potato Out. She has more than just math skills. She got no money to pay bills. And I see my swoon, whatever they hear her say. Hello, my lovely little spots. It's happy. Happy as a pony girl.